Grade 7 math number 12.1c, probability and the complement of an event. In the last couple of videos for 12.1a and b, we learned that a trial is each observation of an experiment. An outcome is each result of a trial. An event is a set or one or more outcomes. Probability is the likelihood an event will even happen. And a sample space is a set of all the possible outcomes of an event. Now we have a new word, complement. But notice that there's no I's in it. It's got two E's in this complement, okay? The complement of an event is the set of all the outcomes in the sample space that are not included in the event. Rolling one die and getting a three face up, the complement would be a one, two, four, five, or six. It's all the numbers that are not three. An event and its complement, it's the sum of the probabilities in an event and its complement, it'll equal one. The probability of an event happening plus the probability of the complement of it not happening is 1. Well, we can apply probabilities to situations involving random selection, like picking a card from a shuffled deck or picking a marble from a bag. There are four aces in a deck of 52 cards. What's the probability of not getting an ace if we pick one random card? So the probability of an, of an event plus the probability of its complement of it not happening is 1. So the probability of getting an ace plus the probability of not getting an ace is 1. So the probability of getting an ace, there's 4 aces in a deck of 52 cards, it's 4 out of 52, 4 50 seconds. Plus the probability of not getting an ace, it would be 52 over 52, because there's 52 cards, and when the numerator and denominator are the same, it equals 1, doesn't it? Just like that. So to isolate the probability of not getting an ace, just as if it were a variable and we were doing one of our algebra problems, we would subtract 4, 50, 4 over 52 from each side, and that would create a zero pair here, wouldn't it? And now that's gone. We've eliminated it. So now we've got the probability of it not being an ace would be 48 over 52 because 4 from 52 is 48. Now they can both be divided by 4, so we can simplify it to 12 over 13. So 12 out of 13 chances, it won't be an ace. See? We did the inverse operation and isolated the probability of it not being an ace. See? If an event is impossible, then the complement is certain. The complement is the opposite of it possibly happening. So if an event is impossible, then its opposite would be that it's certain. And if an event is certain, then its complement would be impossible. See? Because they're the opposite of each other. An event, which all outcomes are not equally likely, like it's unfair, would be picking a rock from a bag of rocks and ping pong balls because the ping pong balls would be on the top and the rocks would be on the bottom because of their weight. So if someone said, pick in the bag real fast, you would just pick off the top probably. So it wouldn't be an equally likely outcome, would it? The probability of an event and the likelihood the event will happen are related because the prob if the probability is zero, then the event is impossible. And if it's half, the event is equally likely as it's not likely. And if it's a one, the event is certain. So see how they're all related? So if it's not going to happen, it's a zero. If it's certainly going to happen, it's a one. And right here would be unlikely. And here would be likely. And here is it could happen or it couldn't happen equally. Okay? So that's the probability and the complement of an event. And we're going to talk about experimental probability next in the next video. So we're going to move on to 12.2. I hope this was helpful. I hope you can understand now, and I'll see you next video. Pardon my dog barking at the squirrels again. Bye.